ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Today, we're putting that power to the test. Welcome everyone! This is the semifinals of K-Chat! Hello everyone! Ako po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. At ako naman si Jules Giang and this is K-Chat! For weeks, we've been searching for those na gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. At ngayon, sa ating semi-finals, alamin na natin kung sino sa kanila ang magtutuloy-tuloy sa ating grand finals at the end of this week. Samaan nyo kami hanggang sa dulo when we finally reveal our new K-Check champion. Apat na contestants mula sa UP Diliman ang dadaan sa ating K-Check semi sa araw na to. Tatlo sa kanila ay weekly winners and we also included a wild card selected from past contestants whose performance merits a spot in our semi-finals. Sa so unang-una, Romy is a political science student and a certified community volunteer hailing from Mindanao. He also teaches English online to Japanese learners and works as a graphics artist for various clients abroad. Ivan, on the other hand, is a civil engineering student who was obviously wrong when he called himself lazy earlier in this competition because now he can call himself a K-Check semi-finalist. Si Earl naman, geography student who not only made it to these semis, but also introduced us to musicians Adrian Lenker and Sufian Stevens. And our wild card Gab is a fourth year student taking up BS social work. If he's not studying for his majors, he's either sleeping or binge watching Western sitcoms. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Firstly, we have Assistant Professor Marla Endriga from the Department of Biology of UP Manila. Next, we have Professor Neil Santillan, former chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History. And finally, we have multimedia artist and professor emeritus teaching film at the UP College of Mass Communication Film Institute and the Communication at UP Open University. We have Professor Grace Javier Alfonso. At ngayon, contestants, handa na ba kayo for our first round? But make sure to wait until you're acknowledged by the host so that your answers can be given credit, if any. Here, correct answers are 10 points each, so get ready to buzz in and collect those points. Let's, Let's begin. begin. Let's begin. Question number one. What unit of length is equal to 12 inches? Uh, Ivan. One foot. One foot or foot is correct. Key check. Question number two. What type of large bird with long legs and neck lends its name to a tall machine Used for moving Earl. Crane. Let me proceed. Used for moving heavy objects by suspending them from a projecting arm. You said crane. That is correct. Okay, check. Question number three. What is the term given to the process through which heat is trapped near Earth's surface by gases like carbon dioxide? Gab. Greenhouse effect. Greenhouse effect is correct. Okay, check. Question number four. In mental math, what number is 80% of 25? Uh, Ivan. 20. 20 is correct. Okay, check. Question number five. Who is the son of Ronaldo Valdez who recorded the hit song, uh, Ivan? Jano Gibbs. Let me proceed. Recorded the hit song, Miss, and starred in the films, Ang Pagbabalik ni Pedro Penduco and Mang Jose. You said Jano Gibbs. That is correct. K okay, check. Question number six. In which sport do competitors use a shuttlecock? Gab. Badminton. Badminton is correct. Okay, check. Question number seven. What term for the beautiful heavenly lights near the poles is the name of Sleeping Beauty? Gab. Aurora. Aurora is correct. Okay, check. Question number eight. In food. What grain is the common ingredient of the Italian dish risotto and the Spanish favorite paella? Gab. Wheat. Wheat is wrong. Romy. Barley. Barley is wrong. Earl. Rice. Rice is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. 
in which European city can you see the Trevi Fountain, the Pantheon, and the Colosseum? Hi, bye. Athens. Athens is wrong. Gab. Rome. Rome is correct. K check. Question number 10. In golf, what do you call a score of one stroke more than par for a hole? Earl. Verdi. It's wrong. Anyone can steal? Gab. Pot. Pot is wrong. Romy. Hole for one. Hole, hole for, for one is wrong. Ivan. Fair. Fair is wrong. The correct answer is bogey. Question number 11. What popular dish has a name that is derived from the Spanish word for roasted suckling pig? Gab. Lechon. Lechon is correct. Key check. Last question for this round, number 12. What province is famous for Kalyao Cave, Fuga Island? Yes, Ivan. Cagayan. Let me proceed. And that Tugigarao Cathedral, you said Cagayan. That is correct. Key check. And that ends round number one. Salamat, Jules, for that wild round. And it's truly wild because after that round, we have our wild card in the lead with 50 points, followed by Ivan with 40, Earl with 20, and Romy with some catching up to do. And of course, we always like to have a bit of conversation with our contestants. So let's start off with Romy. How does it feel to be in the semi-finals? I just really feel grateful for this opportunity. Actually, um, before coming into the set, I just thought to myself na mag enjoy lang talaga because not everyone can have this opportunity in a lifetime. That's true. And we're all just here to have fun and to learn, di ba? Yeah, di ba? Opportunity of a lifetime, sinabi ni Romy. And you guys make it so much fun. I'm exciting uh, today. That's true. Thank you, Romy. Ito naman si Ivan. Ivan, welcome to the semis as well. So, ano masasabi mo, Ivan, na you've proven wrong? Na tinatawag mo yung sarili mong lazy. The later deadline says otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> so, talagang pinaninindigan mo pa rin na lazy ka? Mm, probably open for the day. <laughs> <laughs> Sabi niya, iba naman po yung lazy sa natur natural na matalino. Uh Oo. -oh. At mapagbasa, <laughs> kung gising. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, maraming salamat Ivan and Romy. Mamaya, si Earl at si Gab naman ang kukumustahin natin. Pero bago yan, maganda muna tayo lahat for round two. Susunod na po sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! At tuloy pa rin ang ating K-Check Semi-Finals. Points recap muna tayo. Gab is leading with 50 points, followed by Ivan with 40 points. Earl with 20 points at si Romy kaya pang humabol sa susunod nating dalawang round. So back tayo sa chikahan portion natin. Let's welcome Earl to the semis. Earl, naisip mo ba na aabot ka sa semi-finals? No, no, actually. <laughs> Sabi niya, ha? From the start. <laughs> <laughs> bakit naman hindi? Pero bakit ka nag-join in the first place? Na uh, Laman ko lang through a friend. And I just wanted to try it out. Mm -hmm. Usually, yung sumasama sila yung nananalo, yes. di ba? Yeah, maraming salamat sa friend na yan. <laughs> okay. Ito naman si Gab. So, Gab, ano yung pakiramdam mo nung nabalitaan mo na isa ka sa mga K-Check wild cards sa mga kasali sa ating semi-final? Uh, very surprising po. Pero ngayon po, I have low expectations. Pero nandito talaga ako to enjoy and have fun. That's the spirit of K-Check. Have fun K-Check. Yes. Ayan, maraming salamat sa inyo sa ating mga contestants. By now, you know the drill. It's time for round two. Get ready to buzz in, but make sure you strategize. Correct answers are worth 20 points each, but you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's, Let's begin. begin. This is round two, and this is question number one. What do you call the popular game of Chinese origin, usually played by four players with 144 tiles? Ivan. Majong. Majong is the correct answer. K check. Question number two. What Korean term meaning mixing rice refers to the dish of rice with cooked vegetables? Earl. Bibimbap. Bibimbap is a dish of rice with cooked vegetables, usually meat and often a raw or fried egg. Bibimbap is the correct answer. K check. 
Question number three. Which football star set a world record for playing with Portugal and was the world's highest paid athlete? Ivan. Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo was the highest paid athlete according to Forbes in 2023. The answer is correct. K. Chen. Question number four. What term did historian Arnold Toynbee popularize to describe the process of change from an agrarian economy to one dominated by industry and machine manufacturing, which began in England in the 18th century, Gab? Industrial Revolution. Industrial Revolution is the correct answer, K. Chet. Question number five. What car company was named after automaker Ferruccio? Earl? Lamborghini. Was named after automaker Ferruccio, famous for the models Aventador, Gallardo, and Burracan. The correct answer is Lamborghini. K. Check. Question number six. Which European country is known as the banking center of the world? Gab. Switzerland. Switzerland is the banking center of the world because it holds an estimated $6.5 trillion in assets or 25% of all global cross-border assets. The answer is correct, k -check. Question number seven. What is the large sea animal, similar to a manatee, found mainly, yes, Romy? Whale shark. The answer is incorrect. Similar to a manatee found mainly in the Indian and Pacific Oceans that has thick skin. Earl. Dugong. The dugong has thick skin, divided fin at the back end of its body, and two flippers at the front. Dugong is the correct answer. k -check. Question number eight this time. Who won the Grammy Award for Best New Artist in 2016, one year after hitting it big with the number one single, All About That Bit? Ivan. Megan Trainer. Megan Trainer is the correct answer. K check. Question number nine. What hormone derived from serotonin is secreted by the pineal gland? Gab. Oxytocin. The answer is incorrect. It is secreted by the pineal gland, especially in response to darkness, and is now a dietary supplement to help people sleep. Romy. Um. Melatonin. Melatonin is the correct answer. K check. Question number 10. In sports again, what term may be a type of billiards, a venue for swimming, or a bet on the result of a particular game by a number of people? Ivan. Pool. Pool is the correct answer. K check. And this is question number 11. In January 2024, the JWST transmitted never-before-seen pictures of the planet Jupiter and its storm clouds in majestic splendor. What does the JW in JWST stand for? Romy. James Webb. JWST is James Webb Space Telescope. The answer is correct. K check. Question number 12 and the last question for this round. What is the title of a popular book by Frances Hodgson Burnett about Mary Lennox that came out as a movie in 1987 and in 2020? The correct answer is The Secret Garden. And that's it for round two. And after that round, let's do a points recap. Ivan is now leading with 120 points, followed by Earl and Gab with 80 points each. At si Romy naman ay may 30 points. Kahit na ganyan ang scores natin, pero actually, ang bilis ng round, so no? Bilis. It's so exciting. Pero tandaan nyo, hindi pa po tapos ang laban dahil ultimate pagalingan na sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! And welcome back to K-Check. Let's do a points recap. Ivan is leading with 120 points, followed by Earl and Gab with 80 points each, at si Romy naman ay may 30 points. And now, ultimate pagalingan round na. 
At the end of this round, malalaman natin kung sino ang ating unang grand finalist for this season. So, let's go for those points and for the win. Remember sa round na to sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang ating mga katanungan. Correct answers are worth 30 points each at may 15-point deduction for wrong answers. Let's, let's begin. begin. So, let's kick off our ultimate pagalingan round with the first question from Prof. Marla. What is a moon of a planet outside our solar system called? A. Asteroid B. Satellite C. Meteoroid Show me. B. Satellite B. Satellite is wrong. Let me finish reading the other choices. D. Comet E. Exomoon Ivan. E. Exomoon E. Exomoon is correct. K-check. Prof. Neil. Ano ang kilusang political na itinatag ni Benigno Ramos noong 1930? Ang lumaban sa mga Amerikano at pamahalang Commonwealth. Ngunit nakipagsabwatan noong panahon ng pananakop ng mga Hapon. A. Colorum B. Partido Demokrata C. Sakdal B. Santa Iglesia E. Union Obrera Demokratika Ivan. B. Partido Demokrata. Mali. Romy. C. Sakdal. Ang tamang sagot ay letter C. Sakdal. K-check. Prof. Gigi. What is the traditional dance from Tausug people, an ethnic group in the southern Philippines, particularly in Sulu Archipelago, characterized by graceful movements and intricate hand gestures. It serves as a way to preserve and celebrate the cultural identity of the Taosu people through the art of dance. Romy, singkil. Uh, wrong. Ang choices ay itik-itik, A, B, maglalatik, C, dayang-dayang, D, subli, E, Binasuan. Earl. D. Subli. Wrong. Ivan or Gab, you can still answer. Gab. Letter C. Dayang Dayang. The term Dayang Dayang in itself can be translated to mean princess in the Taosug language. The dance is considered an important cultural expression. It's often showcased during cultural festivals weddings, and other significant events of the Tausu community. Okay, check. Second round, Prof. Marla. Which type of radiation is made up of particles with a positive charge? A. Alpha radiation. Ivan. Alpha radiation. The correct answer is A. Alpha radiation. K okay, check. Prof. Neil. Ano ang tawag sa serye ng mga malawakang kilos protesta na kabataan laban sa gobyerno ni Pangulong Ferdinand Marcos na naganap mula Enero hanggang Marso 1970? Yeah. First quarter storm. Letter B, first quarter storm. Okay, check. From GG. <laughs> okay. Brenda Fajardo, a Filipino artist whose artistic and academic interests involve the aesthetics of poverty and the art of people. She is known for her tarot cards series, which she configures and situates in Philippine history and society. She was one of the founding members of Kasibulan, a sisterhood of Filipino women artists. What does Kasibulan stand for? A. Kasaysayan na may kabuluhan. B. Kababaiyan sa sining at bagong sibol na kamalayan. C. Kamalayan, kababaiyan sa kasiningan. D. Kababaiyan sama-sama sa kasiningan. E. Kababaiyan, kabalikat sa sining. Romy. B. Kababaiyan sa sining at bagong sibol na kamalayan. B. K. Check. Third round of questions sa ating round na ito. Prof. Marla? 
What does PCR stand for in molecular biology? A. Polymerization chemical reaction. B. Polynucleotide chain replication. C. Polymerase chain reaction. Yeah, letter C. Polymerase chain reaction. The correct answer is C. Polymerase chain reaction. K okay, check. Sila, nasa lead na ngayon si Gab. Prof. Neil. Ano ang isang tawag sa barkong pandigma ng mga sinaunang Pilipino? A. Balangay B. Karapowa C. Lansha B. Parao E. Vinta Gab. Letter A. Balangay Mali Ivan C. Lansha Mali B. Karakoa. Okay, ang tamang sagot ay letter B, Karakoa, K-check. Aling tayo sa art? Social realism, a Philippine art movement that emerged in the 1970s which sought to integrate art with daily life of Filipinos. It is an art movement that refers to works like paintings, murals, banners, and other works that were directed against the rule of martial law in the Philippines. Which artist does not belong in the social realism art movement in this particular list? A. Neil Doloricon B. Pablo Bain Santos C. Egay Fernandez D. Fernando Morsolo and E. Earl Fernando Morsolo D. Fernando Morsolo Okay, check. At ito na, ang huling round, which will determine our first yes. finalist. Prof. Marla. Okay, which of the following organisms has been genetically modified to express a foreign gene for human insulin production? A. Rice B. Tomato C. Bacteria D. Soybean E. Potato Ivan, bacteria. The correct answer is C, bacteria. K, check. Back in the lead. Tingnan natin kung mamamaintain niya yan. Prof. Neil. Sa anong kaganapan inugnay ang mga paring gumbursa na nagbigay daan sa kanilang paggarote noong 1872? A, Cavite Mutiny. Ivan, Cavite Mutiny. Ang uh, tamang sagot ay Cavite Mutiny, K-Check. Okay, last question, so, Prof. Ito, Gigi. Last question natin. What is the film directed by Aureo Solito and written by Michiko Yamamoto in 2005 about a coming-of-age comedy drama set in the dense informal settlers area of Manila that is about a gay teen who is torn between his love for a young cop and his loyalty to his family. A. Die Beautiful B. Working Bex C. Born Beautiful D. Ang Pagdadalaga ni Maximo Oliveros E. Cabaro Ivan, Pagdadalaga ni Maximo Oliveros D. K-Check And that's it for our K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan Round. Maraming congratulations kay Ivan, our first contestant, to make it into our finals with a score of 240 points. Ivan will receive a tablet courtesy of TVUP. We'll see him again on Friday for our grand finals. We'd like to thank the other contestants, Romy, Earl, and Gab. Palapakan natin sila. Lalo na si Gab really yes. gave Ivan a run for his tablet. Yes. Diba? <laughs> And maraming salamat din sa members ng ating panel of experts, Professor Marla, Professor Neil, and Professor Gigi. Maraming salamat po. Ako po si Jules Guia. Ako naman po si Attorney Gabby Concepcion. Join us again tomorrow for our next exciting semi-final round here on K-Check. K -Check.